Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about test norms. A norm is the average performance of an identified group of examinees on a test. When standardizing a test, it is administered to a large representative sample of the type of persons whom it is designed. This group is known as the standardization sample. Norms are established for personality tests in a similar manner to those for aptitude tests. In both types of tests, the norm corresponds to the average performance of the representative sample on a given test. Norms can be development level norms or those specifying the relative position within a specific group. Developmental level norms are a method to attach meaning to scores and to indicate how far an individual has progressed during the normal developmental path. The two types of developmental level norms are age equivalent norms and grade equivalent norms. Age equivalent norm is the average performance of a standard sample at a certain age level. It is most suitable for a trait or ability which increases systematically with age. For example, height, weight, cognitive abilities, intelligence, etc. For the grade equivalent norms, the criterion is the grade or standard in which the student is studying. These norms are made for achievement tests and educational tests. For instance, if the average number of problems solved correctly in a max test by a 4th grade student in a standardization sample is 23, then the raw score of 23 corresponds to the grade equivalent of the 4th grade. Norms specifying the relative position within a specific group are essentially of two types. Percentile norm is the most popularly used norm. The percentile value indicates the value below which a given percentage of observation in a group of observations fall. For instance, if 30% of the total respondents in a test obtain less than 18 problems correct in a math test, then the raw score of 18 corresponds to the 30th percentile. That is, the test taker has a percentile rank of 30 and percentile score of 18. Thus, a lower percentile rank for a person indicates a poorer performance. It is different from a percentage score. The percentage is a raw score, whereas the percentile is a derived score. Percentiles are simple to understand, easy to calculate, and can be understood to mean the rank of a person in a group of 100. A standard score is calculated by transforming the raw score into one on a common scale. A standard score is based on a normal distribution with a mean and a standard deviation. On many standardized assessments, the standard score is based on a distribution with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. A score of 100 on such a test means that the respondent has scored in the middle of the distribution. A standard score of 85 indicates that the respondent has scored one standard deviation below the mean of the normative sample. The standard deviation is an indication of the variability of scores in a population. There is an increasing trend to use these norms as it is easier to interpret standard scores. I hope you like this video. Please share and subscribe. Thank you.